Hey guys, what's up? Joe from Total Justice Gaming here. We're going to be doing a brand new video for you guys that includes the new cards from the Super Shine, Super Shine Sun Dragon deck, which is the Darkness Dragon World deck that I really, really love. I love Abigail. I love Abigail for a multitude of reasons. Uh, first and foremost is because of who he really is. Uh, the main voice actor for Abigail, which I don't know if any of you guys know, is actually the main actor from one of my favorite video games, the Yakuza franchise. So, Yakuza franchise, really, really good game. Uh, it's one of the primary reasons I run Darkness Dragon World, because uh, Abigail is uh, Kazuma Kiryu, which just, you know, I love that to death. I love that they got uh, Kiryu to be a little penguin, the little penguin dragon of death. So, uh, this is my Darkness Dragon build that I just put together. Uh, I did test it out. It has really, really good synergy. Uh, I'm going to make a little bit more of interesting choices that I don't think some of you guys will agree with and some of you guys will. Um, really, really good. So, our buddy is, of course, SD Abigail. Uh, we run four of that, and like the last video, I'm going to put three out and read the effect. That way you guys know what I'm talking about. <coughs> Pardon me. So, Cold Cost is Pay Gauge, and then you have Destiny of the De Destiny of the Death Dragon. When this card enters the battlefield, there are five or more cards in your opponent's drop zone. Draw a card. If there are 15, destroy a monster. Uh, Destiny of the Death Dragon... Only activates once per turn. He is a 2 one, one I run four of him. He's the buddy. I love him to death. Plus, I love the fact that he's surrounded by cats, which, if you watch the cartoon, Gaito is deathly afraid of. Uh, next up, we got Classic Abigail. Uh, we're going to be a little fancy. I actually managed to be able to do this. So I've got two buddy rears and two normal ones. Uh, Abigail is a 6 two, one uh, Call cost to pay one gauge and activate. Uh, discard a card from your hand. If you do, destroy a monster on your opponent's field. If you destroy a monster, put uh, the top card in the opponent's deck equal to the size of the monster that was destroyed. So, run four of that. Um, next up, uh, I was very fortunate. I opened these in the boxes. I also have two Buddy Rare and two Normal Rarity of Awakened Black Death Dragon Abigail. So, he is also a 6-2-1. Uh, pay gauge for call cost. When he enters the field, destroy a monster. Uh, if you do, put the top two cards of the opponent's deck into the drop zone. Really, really good. Uh, do run four of him. Uh, he syncs up a lot with the weapon. In fact, a lot of the monsters you're going to see me play sync up really well with the combination of the weapon I'm running. Uh, I talked a little bit about it, um, and we'll get to there. Uh, next up, I run two of the Jet Black Grim Reaper Gaito, who's a 4-2-1. Uh, call cost of pay a life. When this card attacks, destroy a monster on the opponent's field. If you destroyed a monster, put cards from the top of your opponent's deck equal to the size of that card into the drop zone and put cards on the top of your deck into your gauge equal to the size of the monster destroyed that way. So I run two of him. Um, again, synchronizes with the weapon we're going to be using. Uh, next, we play two of the Death Napalm Dude who's a 2-2 two, two for 2, uh, no call cost, uh, the effect of blast ammo, when you destroy pay gauge, if you do, mill 5 from the opponent's drop zone, uh, deck into the drop zone. Run 2 of him. Uh, next up, we got uh, 2 of Deathbringer Awakened Black Abigail, uh, who's a 7-1-1, uh, call cost to pay gauge. When he attacks and destroys a monster on... Yeah. When this card attacks and destroys your opponent's monster or deals damage to the opponent, mill two from the card and deal one damage to the opponent. Uh, if I had more of him, I would be running him probably over Napalm, but I got a nice two and two, so we're really, really good with this. Uh, next up, we run th four Lord Vader. I do have the fourth in hand. Uh, pay Gage for the call cost. He's a 4-2-2. Two, two. One years of field, you may call a size one... Um, Size one or less black dragon from your drop zone by paying its call cost. These really good because this is a pseudo uh, Abigail rush deck. Uh, Vader lets us go get an Abigail that was destroyed. Lets us go get any car, any of the grade ones. So that means you could probably get back Napalm. Uh, get anybody back. Vader's really really good. 
Uh, for the uh, impact monsters, I did not, unfortunately, I did not pull any uh, last death violence. So we are still running uh, three of unlimited death drain, but I still love unlimited death drain. So it's pay three, destroy two. Uh, when this card enters the field during the final phase, put up to ten cards from your opponent's uh, deck into the drop zone. One attacks if they have twenty or more. Uh, deal two, gain two. He's an eight two seven. Really, really good. Kind of wish I had the last death violence, but you know, pulls or pulls. Uh, I tech in one uh, vanishing death hole. Eight three eight. Uh, read him real quick. I know you guys know what he does, but you know, sake of the video. Uh, pay three and pop a black dragon. When he has a field, destroy all monsters during the final phase uh, on the field. There's six or more. He gets plus three crit, making him eight six eight. If there are twelve or more, uh, he is attacking, not be nullified while attacking alone. They can still reduce the deal, the damage to zero, but they can't negate it. Uh, next up, we got the uh, we play four. Uh, Soul Sucking Blade, uh, Su Queen Su Queen Tuan. I know I can't pronounce that correct. I really, really like this weapon, and we're gonna get into it a little bit. Uh, it's a 6 2. Uh, it's quick cost is pay gauge, pay life. Uh, when you put a card from the opponent's drop zone, uh, from the deck into the drop zone, by an effect of your card, deal one damage to the opponent. Ability only activates once per turn. Um, I know this is not as good as what most people think. I do think a lot of people are overlooking this weapon because it does not say only during your turn. So this means you could potentially deal with them a point of damage on their turn, uh, screwing up any life math they got to deal with. Uh, it is a 6-2, which uh, the 6 is decent numbers. You can get around uh, quite a few monsters' defense. Uh, you're dealing 2 damage, then you could potentially deal with 3rd damage, making this really a crit of 3. Uh, a lot of the cards I already went through synergize with this thing, meaning on the defense when they mill, you get to trigger and they lose a life. Uh, a lot of effects you play during your turn trigger this thing, so they lose a life. You're always dealing constant damage with this, so I play 4 of this. Uh, next up, we got uh, Darkness Dragon Force. Uh, I only play one of it because I only pulled one of it um, right now. So it's equipped. Uh, release condition is six life or less. And I have Abigail. Uh, if I have a monster with Abigail and its card name on the field, we're always going to have that because the majority of the deck is Abigail. Um, we got uh, quick cost and pay to gauge. The card cannot be destroyed. Return to hand or its ability is nullified. When this card attacks, or when this card's attack is nullified, they mill three, and I gain a life, and he's got penetrate. So I pay, uh, I play only one, only because I have one. Uh, if I did have a second one, I would be running it over uh, Vampire Claws, or Claws of Claws of Black Death, Gale Fang, which is Equip Pay Gauge, 5-2. Uh, abilities on the... Abilities of this card of this field cannot be nullified. When this card is put into the drop zone, uh, gain a life, draw a card. Uh, for spells, we're running two purgatory loophole. This lets you go grab Abigail, any Abigail you want because it lets you get a black dragon. Uh, really, really good. Uh, we play two black dragon remade. This lets you potentially give pseudo soul guard. To any black dragon on the field. I only run two of it right now. I'm going to test to see if I need three. Uh, we run Gale Destruction. Add a three of. Uh, read it off. Uh, pay Gauge. Destroy size two or less on the opponent's field. And then they mill two. Which, once again, triggers with the scythe. So, we also run three Soul Steel. Which I took out, I believe... Uh, black Drain 4. Uh, black Drain was, uh, they mill 3 and you gauge 1. Uh, I took out Soul Steel because Soul Steel is gauge 2, and if they have 10 or more cards in the drop zone, which is very easy to do in this deck, uh, you gauge a third card. Uh, you do need gauge in this deck a lot more than what you used to. Uh, I mean, this deck was always gauge heavy to begin with, so this is really, really important. Uh, so I run 3 of this. Move that there. There we go. Uh, next we run the shields. I run four black cloth. I did look at enemy wall, and enemy wall is kind of a gamble. Uh, 
Enemy Wall is you may only play this card during the opponent's turn, and they mill two if there's a monster, nullify it, and you gauge one. Uh, that's okay. It's still a gamble because they can still hit no monsters, and then you just waste a card for no reason. Uh, with Black Cloth Blade, uh, you just don't have to have a monster in the center, but you're always going to have either the Scythe, or uh, Dragon Force, which, you know, again, with the Scythe, you can actually run a full-grade one, uh, full-size one board, and then their effect triggers, and then you still get the Scythe power of dealing them one point of damage. So, there's that. And then, counter, uh, nullify the attack, and then mill the top card of the opponent's deck. I uh, really like this one. And then, of course, four Black Dragon Shield. Uh, Black Dragon Shield speaks for itself. Uh, like I said, a lot of the deck synergizes and goes with this card. Uh, the deck is pretty much, as you guys have seen, it's a grade one rush Abigail deck, which focuses almost strictly on Abigail, save for a couple cards. But almost anything can trigger this card. Almost anything can trigger the Scythe, which is why I love the Scythe to death. Uh, you can run a full rush board. Of all different Abigails, um, all with their various effects. You can actually run all three, and you get to deal at least a point of free damage every time they mill, which is super easy in this deck, as you guys have seen. I really, really like this card. I understand a lot of people are going to get real hyped for Darkness Dragon Force. Um, I am still not convinced with that card. Um, that's just me personally. Uh, I do see the merits in it. I'm just not real hype on it. Uh, I do like this better because of the constant damage dealing. So I do think this is the better weapon. I still would always say at least run two of Darkness Dragon Force. But uh, as you guys have seen and as I've rambled on, I really, really like this. Uh, the cart, the deck is really, really fun. It's a lot easier to play with. Uh, the only thing, of course, you'll have a rough time is against Executioners. So this is my Darkness Dragon build. Hope you guys like it, and don't forget to subscribe and like and leave comments, guys. I do listen, read the comments. I have fun talking with you guys. And, you know, like and subscribe, because that's the only way we're going to be able to get these videos out to more people, and more people can enjoy Buddy Fight. Uh, take it easy, guys, and have a good Christmas. Later.